Hey guys, Jody and Kelly with Only Have One Life to Live. We're here on the Royal Caribbean Symphony of the Seas. go guys this is the symphony of the seas royal caribbean symphony of the seas this is going to be an awesome trip we are going down into the eastern caribbean we are going to go to saint martin we are going to st um, thomas. thomas virgin yeah. islands and coco bay we have so much content that we're going to break this into multiple parts for the video. This first tour is going to be of the Miami port and getting on board. Okay, here we are headed into Terminal A in the port of Miami. Please be sure to like and subscribe all of our videos. It really helps us a lot. Thank you so much. Welcome to the morning, everybody. Welcome to Security. You're going to the second floor right hand side. So as you arrive at the terminal, just hand your bags off to the bellman, pay them a couple bucks per bag, that's pretty typical, and then make your way up and to the right. Um, at the top of the escalator, you'll see these big propellers, um, and then after you get past the propellers on the right immediately, you'll see the agents. Have your set sail pass on your Royal Caribbean app if you already have your tickets. Uh, take those in your passport in hand and take them directly to one of the agents, and then you can uh, go to proceed to board. Um, once you uh, go past the agent, you'll make a right um, and go up another set of escalators and then you'll be walking onto the ship literally quick, fast, easy, and you will land on the promenade deck. So once you get into the ship, you will be on the promenade deck. Now before you go jumping on the ship, there's a few things you should probably know, like what forward means and what haft and what starboard and port mean, what the leeward side of the boat is and what the windward side of the boat is. So we'll try and make it simple. Forward means the front of the ship or towards the front of the ship from your current position. Aft is the back or the rear of the ship or towards the rear of the ship from your current position. Port is the left side of the ship when viewed from the rear of the ship. And you can remember this easily because there are four letters in port and left. Starboard is the right side of the ship when viewed from the rear of the ship. It's that simple. The windward side of the ship is the side taking the wind on the nose, and the leeward side is the side of the ship that is sheltered from the wind. We often find that using the deck plans online before we go to the ship helps stay oriented. But these are located throughout the ship for your convenience. Now let's have a look at the interior of the ship, the promenade deck. The promenade deck is sort of like the metropolitan area of the entire ship. It is where everything occurs. So it's sort of like Grand Central Station here. It's where you're going to see all the musicians playing. Um, it's where you'll see the next cruise, where you can set up your next cruise. Um, it is where you'll have restaurants and uh, bars and guest services and your Wi-Fi. Um, you'll be able to set up your meal services here if you have specialty dining. Um, they have this little sky bar on the left here that you'll see. This is just sort of the central place in the ship. Here's the Mad Hatter. And then we're up to the Vitality Spa. This should be fun. We're going to get some massages. Here's the Smile Spa. You can go in and get your smile brightened. There's really no detail these guys have left out of the Vitality Spa. You just really feel special when you go into one of these areas. We thought this was a great time in the video to sort of give you some of our tips and tricks. So here's Kelly with some of our tips and tricks that you won't want to miss for your next cruising adventure. So tip number one, don't overpack. Tip number two is these lovely little things for your cell phones. 
and you can also just jam your key card in there. At tip number three, um, rolling duffel bags because you can shove them up under the bed. Collapsible rolling duffel bags. Yes. These things are a lifesaver. That would be tip number four. Over the door shoe storage. Found it on Amazon for I think about $15, but it is a lifesaver. All your bathroom and all of your, you know, different kind of wet naps and things that you like to have during the day to refresh your face, lotions, all that kind of stuff. And we want these things this year to secure our beach towels to the chairs rather than the clips because we found the clips were in the way all the time. And if you hit them, they break. We have a clothesline hung up in the shower, dry the swimsuits and things like that. Just a bungee that. kind of cord with some clips on it. And you can just hang it over the door and in through the shower, across the shower head, and you're good to go. Yep. Next tip, Jody's uh, bring your... Bring your little power brick so you can plug it in and have all your stuff charging at night. They'll bring you, they'll give you a couple USB plugs and you'll have some 110s and then uh, some uh, non-US. Um, some 110s, but it's not near enough. Um, make sure you bring these kind of power bricks so you can... Yeah, when you get off the boat and spend all day uh, in the port, port. Yeah. you'll run out of battery quick when you're taking pictures and things like that. Connectors. So for us, we're doing some diving on this trip. So we bought a dry bag and we bought a small little like that. Wet stuff to um, take back. Exactly. And then a small, small beach, bag. beach bag to take towels and stuff to the pool. We bought our own towels, um, which actually uh, I laugh about that because uh, today two gentlemen got in a fight over beach towels. Um, so we bought our own beach towels, so nobody takes ours. <laughs> on the, on we'll show you the thing. duffel bags we bought. It's just a dual wheel, but you can see there's space under the bed there to store stuff. So those collapsible duffel bags just allow you just to fold it all down and, and we shove bought it in. Walmart for $50. Yeah. Store up under there rather than having to store hard luggage somewhere. So that uh, works out really great. Sunscreen, sunscreen, sunscreen. Lotion. <laughs> lotion, after sun lotion. And for the ladies, maybe some men, hair ties. Um, I have natural curly hair and it has become just a tangled mess this week. So hair ties. Um, Sunglasses, all the normal stuff you'd need at a beach. Yep. We hope you enjoyed those tips and we hope they help you in your next cruising adventure. Now we're gonna move on to deck six. Let's go have some fun. Okay, we left the Vitality Spa. We went down to deck six aft. And in here you can see that there's all sorts of uh, climbing walls and slides and places to get sugar to your heart's content. And there's all sorts of the abyss slide there, the tallest slide on a ship, which I went down that. You know, you'll love to see that video. Um, there's all sorts of little um, places on the right, and if you can see the balconies there, those are pretty cool little balconies to have. There were so many things on deck six. This is also where the high row uh, water show is at. So towards the back by the abyss slide there. This is and in the back, which is coming up, you'll see the purple slide that sort of swirls down. from The abyss interest in the top right corner of the screen um, that's where you onboard onto the abyss on the 15th or 16th floor, and it comes all the way down to the sixth deck. So it's the tallest slide on any cruise ship to date. Again, this is the sixth deck aft. Back into the promenade sort of area. And below on deck five is the Royal Promenade, which we visited earlier. You'll see the guest services yellow shirt folks down there on the left, and then the sky bar, or the rising tide bar, right in the middle there. And that goes up and down on those elevators. Guest services down on the fifth deck. 
right in front of us on the left. The yellow shirts. Okay, so it's time to talk muster. Everyone hates muster drills, but you never have to do this again. Royal Caribbean has made it such that you can do it in your stateroom and on your app, and you simply go and check in at your muster station, which takes less than two minutes, and you are done. What a great improvement. Good job, Royal. All right, this is Sorrento Pizza Shop, where you can get a slice or a whole pizza. They have all sorts of pizzas. These guys are making pizzas all day long. Watermelon and feta, marinated olives, grilled asparagus, all sorts of stuff here. <coughs> so Sorrento's Pizza. Over here you have the copper kettle. This is the Grand Promenade. Here's our stateroom, as you can see. We've got a restroom on the left or ahead, it's called, uh, in the Navy. And you've got a queen-size bed. You've got a TV to the right. And you've got a little desk area. And all of your wardrobe is on the right as well. So it's not a bad size room. It's an interior room. And there's a little frog that was left for us on the first day. Okay, I'm going to speed the video up here. I apologize if it makes you a little dizzy. I'm not trying to do that. Uh, we got a lot to cover uh, on this tour, and there's just a lot going on here. So this is the wet entry pool, so you can sit there. The chairs are first come, first served during the day, so the earlier you get out and get your towels out, the quicker you'll be able to get on uh, on the site. You can pick towels up at the towel station with your card, check a couple out. They've got a life vest for the kiddos if you need those. And, of course, there's multiple pools here uh, in spas. And then down below is Central Park, and you'll see all of the beautifulness of Central Park with all the balconies there. That's got to be a pretty cool setting to be able to do that. And, of course, they got this kids area. Man, I wish I was a kid. This is super cool. Look at all these little fountains and buckets that pour water all over your head. If I was a kid, I would have a blast in this area right here. I probably wouldn't ever get out of it all day long. It's just a super fun area looks like and uh, would be a lot of fun to play around in we're going to go back uh, towards the uh, after the ship again and you can see in here they've got like uh, charging stations and they got places where you can buy little medicines and different things like that if you happen to forget something at home this is where you're going to find all the lotions and stuff by the way we had a hard time finding lotion on the uh, on the uh, on the ship so that's the place to go is on the 15th deck and towards the aft and, of course, here's the arcade for the kids. Again, they can use their cards that they have to go in and play arcade games all day long and just have a good time uh, while they're on the ship. Uh, it's pretty big. they got ski ball and all kinds of stuff there, so you guys will enjoy that. And that's the Challenger Arcade. Here's one massive hot tub as you're going into the solarium, and here's the solarium. We're approaching sunset here. In the solarium, as you can tell, it's kind of humid in here with all the windows in here. There's still open areas, but it still gets pretty humid in here. Beautiful, not so loud, not so much wind in here. So they do have some doors open, like right over there you can see the doors open. That window is halfway open. 
course, they have a bar area. It's kind of loud over here. Bar area, dining inside called the Solarium Bistro. Wash up station so you can washy washy. We have hot tubs up here. They have these little walk outside decks. You can go right out on the front of the ship. And of course, all of these tiers and things in here. This particular ship, the 17th floor, is reserved for, I guess, the high rollers, the people with a lot of money. So that's why we're not up there. But you can find these little cabanas everywhere. So here Kellen and I decided to take a quick break in the solarium. And of course you can see in the solarium I mentioned these little decks on the outside. So you can walk out of the solarium, out on this wing of the deck here of the solarium deck and you can see it's a bit windy there because we're uh, sailing into the wind and we're going about 21 knots so pretty uh pretty quick for a big boat of that size and you can stand out on this big deck and you can let the salt air hit you in the face and you can get a view of these beautiful blue ocean waves you We're going to take you now up to the flow rider on the 16th deck and you're going to get to see some flow riding action. So stay tuned for this, it's going to be a lot of fun. As you can tell, there were some very skilled uh, Royal Caribbean employees here who uh, who can uh, make this look very easy on the Flow Rider. But next, we're going to take you away from the Flow Rider area and down into the arcades, where you're going to have a great time. to the wind jammer for dinner.
You get all your salads here. Bread's on the other side. Salads. Excuse me. Caesar salads. Apples. White cabbage salad. Greek salads. Marinated cauliflower, ham, salamis, cheeses. Dal in the masala. And the Americana. You have peanut sauce, sweet and sour chicken, chicken satay, egg roll, fingers, cheeseburgers, hot dogs, chocolate rice pudding. Chocolate layer cake, strawberry mousse, chocolate bar, black currant mousse. Chocolate mousse, jello, raspberry mousse, brookies, all sorts of breads. And don't forget, just because you come to this common area, there's still something around the backside. They have drink dispensers for those who have the cola plans by the way if you have one of the soda plans you have to pick up one of the cups one of these types of cups the dispensers won't dispense into a clear cup you have to have one of these special cups like this to dispense into you can get it from any bar once you get on board so around the corner here is even more stuff this is where the specialty stuff is at. So, beef stir fry, stir fry noodle with vegetables, egg fried rice. You can get crepes made from a crepe station. And then they have Italian over here. So, as you can see, there are a variety of options of food to choose from. From Americana to Italian to Indian to vegan and vegetarian, you can eat yourself sick on this boat. So bon appetit. Next, we went to the beautiful Central Park. It is home to all the specialty restaurants and a few specialty shops. It is just gorgeous. We loved hanging out here at night uh, and listening to a few little concerts here and there. It was just beautiful. This video, as you can tell, is pretty long, 23 minutes already, and we aren't near done showing you the ship and all the things you can do. Not to mention, we haven't talked about Phillipsburg and St. Martin. We haven't talked about um, St. Thomas yet. We haven't talked about our diving yet. We haven't talked about Perfect Day at Coco Cay. So we've got a lot more video to share with you guys. But we're gonna leave this video here and we're gonna leave you with this classical music bit that we heard down in Central Park on the first night. And we hope you guys enjoy this. This is quite a performance here. I hope you enjoy it. Um, we look forward to seeing you on the next one. Remember to like and subscribe. It really does help us a lot. See you soon. Remember, you only have one life to live. Mm -hmm.